In this video we'll talk about Nostram battery choices for spec rating and I've done some spec rating myself lately in the 13.5 turn blinky Afra class which I've been racing mainly at my home track but I do have some previous experience in the class from the last couple of years as well. I do know how popular uh, spec racing is. I mean it's um, significantly more popular than the prestigious uh, modified classes, which I mainly raise. But I do know the importance and the, um, the size of the, the spec class racing that's going on in Europe and around the world. And there's many forms of spec racing, but today I'll be focusing on the 13.5 uh, turn Blinky Efra class, which is pretty popular in, in the countries around Europe. So this video should be able to help you choose the correct battery for your particular uh, racing conditions and um, race events. So first of all, let's see what packs Nostrum offer. They offer four different packs for spec racing. We have the 6100, which has a height of 22.5 millimeters and a weight of 273 grams. The 7400 pack has a height of 25.1 millimeters, so it's a bit thicker, and a weight of 302 grams. The 8100 pack has a height of 25.1 millimeters, which is the same as the 7400, but it has a weight of 327 grams, so it's quite a lot heavier, even though it has the same height. Finally, uh, the biggest pack that Nostrum offer is the 9400 which has a height of 25.1 as well but has a weight of 335 grams. So making the correct battery choice can be difficult but I'm gonna try and give you some advice which can help you choose better. This is mainly directed for outdoor racing which now the outdoor season has started in Europe so it's particularly um, interesting for you if you've just started running outdoors. Basically, what we're talking about is a trade-off between weight and size of the battery. Because uh, the rule of thumb is basically that the thinner the pack becomes, the higher the IR number becomes, the internal resistance. So you'll want an internal resistance number as low as possible for the best possible punch and the least uh, amount of drop-off during a run. But then again, there's a big trade-off because the car will handle better with a lighter pack because the center of gravity in the car will be lower and this means that you'll have a faster direction change, um, less tire overheating and the car will be more reactive. So three big benefits for the handling of the car. But uh, a bigger pack will have a lower IR which means it will give you more punch, um, more power output for a longer uh, period of time. So in this case, the 9400 is going to be the most powerful battery and it's going to have the least amount of drop-off. So how do you make the call um, about what battery you choose? Basically, you have to check your lap times and see um, is the car handling better, which allows me to lower my lap times. In that case, is that more important for the lap times or is the increased punch from the bigger packs allowing me to um, go faster around the track, especially uh, towards the end of the run. So this is very interesting to me. It's something we don't play with as much in modified, but in stock it's really critical and makes a big difference. So I'm going to give one example. Last weekend I had a local race here in Lisbon where I raced on a pretty big outdoor track, which has low grip. I would consider the grip to be low compared to international levels of grip. And I ended up testing these three packs, the 7.4, the 8.1, and the 9.4. In the end, I prefer the 7.4 pack because the car being um, a lot more responsive, not rolling as much, helped me to lower my lap times at this track. There was this particular section at the, the bottom uh, left side of the track where there's a, there's a fast uh, left to right transition where you quickly have to change direction and precisely um, 
to not lose time. And with these two packs, the heavier packs, the rear would often get loose in that section. And um, for that reason, when I put a 7.4 pack in the car, I was able to drive through that section with more power applied uh, without the rear getting loose. And it allowed me to lower my lap times. It also allowed me to um, set a faster overall time over five minutes because uh, a single lap time is obviously important and fun, but uh, what's more important is the overall finishing time over a five minute, five minute race. So the 7.4 was the best choice for me. So I would say that if you're racing on lower grip tracks, especially if the track layout has a quick left to right transition or several of those kind of corners, the 7.4 pack might be the best choice for you. If you're racing on open tracks, fast tracks, especially tracks which has uh, higher levels of traction, you're probably going to benefit more from the, the bigger packs, so the 8.1 and the 9.4. And why? Because the higher the grip, the more you're able to stay on the throttle, the more power you're able to consume throughout the run, which will make the voltage of the battery drop more. So in the end, what's important here is the the voltage which you finish the run with. So obviously a bigger pack is going to have a higher voltage at the end of the run, which means you'll have more punch for the, the final two minutes of the run, especially. And if you're racing at a high level on higher grip conditions against uh, good drivers, if, you, if you're racing in a very competitive field, you, you'll end up fighting for the win with a few tens of a second, perhaps being the difference. And if you're using a bigger pack with less drop off, you can really make the difference, uh, which can um, make you win or lose the race in that case. So I think that comparison can be really significant and um, easy to understand when it comes to choosing the battery. So I'm going to explain, for example, some of the Nostram team drivers, they have a specific approach when it comes to the, the battery choices in this case. So if you're going to a big event with high levels of competition and um, the grip is generally high, Nostram team drivers often prefer to use a 8100 pack for the seating practice where the goal is to set three fast consecutive laps for the reseating, which only three laps are important. So generally those three laps are set during the first minute of the run or the first two minutes of the run. So then the overall finishing time is not important. Then the 8-1 uh, is basically their choice. And when they then go on to race uh, qualifications and finals, where the finishing time over five minutes is what matters, then the 9-4 becomes their choice. This is how some of the Nostram team drivers in the stock class approach uh, this choice. And it also makes a lot of sense to me. And that's probably how I would go about as well if I was to race stock at a big international competition. But for uh, a lot of users, the 7.4 will be a great choice because you can really feel the benefit in the, the improved handling of the car rather than the better punch which the bigger packs provide. Uh, we also offer the 6100 pack which is mainly uh, directed for indoor racing because it's, it's a bit smaller pack, a lot lighter as well. But generally it will not be powerful or punchy enough for um, outdoor tracks unless you race on a very small track, a very technical track or indoor asphalt track or such. So I hope that this info was useful to you and it can help you choose better. Choose the correct uh, pack for stock racing. Thanks for watching and uh, soon I'll be making another video in which I'll talk about battery charging and discharging, which is a subject which often comes up and I find it very interesting as well. So I'd like to clear up some, uh, some of the doubts which users might have about charging and discharging the battery packs.